Style in your lipstick. The pink de labio que tengo puesto para este video is by Pat McGrath and it's called Femme Bot. Latinas! Oh, oh! That was so dramatic. Seven things you need to stop wearing by age 20. Let's get into it, bitches. Numero uno, rollers. You heard me, rollers. <laughs> stop wearing your rollers outside by age 20. I see this in pretty much any age group. I'm talking about even like 50s, 60s, 70s. Doña Maria, no salga con los rollos para afuera. And I get it, sometimes you might be going actually to the salon to do your hair. I am guilty of this when I was in my 20s, not too long ago. I stepped on rollers, but you will never catch me doing that shit again. It's not a cute look for anybody, not even when you are 20. Especially trying to nab a guy. <coughs> no dos. Transparent tights. What the fuck, Latinas? You know how many times I walk outside my neighborhood because it's definitely a Latin neighborhood and I see the girls wearing stockings as tights. I don't need to see your business. I'm gonna be the first one to admit it. I don't need to see your business and I know you don't need to see my business so I wouldn't wear it. Look in the mirror. Look in a freaking mirror. If you have to, just shine as many lights as possible to your derriere and make sure that your derriere is not exposed. This happens so often in our 20s because we just don't know any better. But I'm here to save you from all that, Latinas. Don't go out without checking so that you won't expose your derriere for free. Latinas, I got your back. Numero tres, heavy eyeliner. Mommy, there's times I've gotten up at 7 8 in the morning and I have to run errands for my mom and I go to the store and I see girls with like the heaviest eyeliner ever. It doesn't look right. Look, I'm the first one to break rules. I don't like rules. I love fashion. I'm here to have fun. But sometimes the shit just doesn't look right. You want to be fresh and dewy and young and fresh. Last thing you want to do is pat on the eyeliner. It just looks so darn heavy. Now, if you're into goth, if you're into that moody type of aesthetic grunge, I'm all for that shit. I love punk outfits, but not at 7 o'clock in the fucking morning. You'll thank me years down the line when you look back at the pictures and you'll be like, damn, Daisy was right. <laughs> Wearing your pajamas outside. No, don't go out. You need to stop this by 20. If you're in your teens, okay, you might get away with it because you don't know any better, but 20, you're an adult. All Latinas by age 20 need to stop wearing pajamas because it just doesn't look sexy, it doesn't look cute. The last thing you want to do is go outside with some checkered, busted looking pajamas and miss the guy in your jeans walking down the street. Some other Latino. I'm here to save you from that shit. By the age of 20, don't wait till 20 and a half, 21, 22. Don't wear your fucking pajamas outside. You're gonna be that type of girl that's gonna go home and be like, why? Why was I wearing pajamas when I saw that cute hot guy looking at me? Don't let that shit happen to you. It's happened to me, but not wearing pajamas. <laughs> it's happened to me in this category. The messy hair. I traumatize with this shit because I have curly hair, so my hair is naturally messy. But when I was in my 20s, girl, I didn't know how to fix my fucking hair. I swear I had it locked, but I didn't. I definitely was far from that. So there's so many times that I would get up, have to go to school or whatever it was, even if it was just to go to the store for my mom or something like that. And I just woke up and went to the fucking store like that. Oh my God. That shit wasn't cute. On my way to the store, I would see so many guys that were quote unquote potentials for Daisy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm here coming out looking like a monsoon just landed right in my hair. I went home and literally beat myself up like, why are you so stupid, Daisy? Why would you do something like that? And it's summer. You know in the summer, everybody's out. Everybody's looking extra cute, extra tan and the weather makes you feel good and Daisy freaking comes out looking like death warmed over and as you can tell clearly years on the line I'm still thinking about that shit don't go out with your hair messed up Latinas not past 20 bitches numero 6 Latinas stop wearing tight ponytails by 20 no I'm not saying stop wearing ponytails wear a ponytail I wear ponytails stop wearing them every freaking day let me tell you, when I was in my 20s, I had friends. Ask me where they're at now, that's a whole different fucking video. 
But in my 20s, I have friends that wore ponytails every single day. I don't know. It was just a default. I don't know if they felt comfortable. I don't know why they did that, but they wore it every freaking day. And now, their hairline is like back here. They looked windswept 365 days a year. It didn't look right because you can see when you get close up, their hair follicles was literally being pulled back. And to me, at that time at 20, when I didn't even freaking know better, it didn't look right. It didn't look right. And I knew from there on, I was like, okay, don't fucking do that shit. You don't want to do that. You're setting your hair up for failure. If there's one thing you know about Latinas, our hair makes us who we are, okay? Without a big, fluffy, voluminous, beautiful hair, we're not considered Latinas. Straight up. Do your ponytail, but don't cinch that shit so tight that you kill brain cells. Which one are you guilty of? Write it down on my comments below. What the fuck are you waiting for? It is time for you to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I dare you. And hit that notification bell so it could inform you of my next video.